Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is for the embellishments on the 11th collab. It is hosted by Deb Huck's Crafty Cottage and each month uh, myself and the other participants uh, we make uh, embellishments that we can have on hand to use on future projects or sometimes we like well at least sometimes I will make embellishments for different swaps that I'm in on Facebook or I might if I have a particular project for another collab I might make um, some embellishments that I share in this collab that I have made for other collab projects now this um, month I actually made duplicates of item of embellishments that I had sent out um, several weeks ago for a Facebook swap and it was a, a dog embellishment swap so it could ha do uh, have anything to do with dogs um, that's the only thing it had to have on it was something about dogs um, I had made these exact same embellishments and I thought they turned out really really cute so I wanted to make some to have in my stash here that I can um, have for whenever I might want something cute I did use a whole bunch of punches on this um, swap or on this embellishment these I guess I should say because <laughs> there's 10 here I made 10 for the swap that I had to send out and then I made another 10 um, I used three different base layers um, I have this paper pad that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby a couple months back um, 12 by 12 pad and it's all different prints of like, like sunflowers um, there's different colors and um, different prints that have to do with sunflowers and it's really really pretty and I know you can't see the paper here but let me I've got my scrap right here this is the one one of the pieces of paper and that pad has some pink fly, um, sunflowers and the yellows and the green and of course the brown centers in them all so just gorgeous papers in that whole entire paper pad so I pulled out um, that one piece of paper and I was able to cut out a bunch of circles or these these are about two and a half inch um, scallop circles and then I used my Stampin Up um, Starburst Punch and I did that in black and then this polka dotted paper is let me look down here if I can find it it is a pad I received in a monthly um, paper pad subscription that I'm in through Not Too Shabby and it's called Dots for Fall and it was just this really pretty goldy sort of mustardy yellow um, pattern and it has a little bit larger dots on the back and I went with the small dots on the front and there's just all these really pretty uh, colors um, it came with another paper pad that was fall themed so I probably got it back in like August, September of last year. Um, but it is a really universal pad. It can be used for anything that you would want to use it for. And then I used my little Scotty Dog punch from Stampin' Up. Absolutely love this punch. Um, hopefully it's not too much glare. It just has the little dog punch and it comes with a bow as well. There's where it shows you your two punches. And I use that a lot as well because I'm obsessed with this punch right now. Growing up as a kid, I was always, um, I always loved Scotty dogs. That was my very favorite dog, even though um, we had a Basset Hound. <laughs> that was the dog that my parents picked out when I was a kid. And she was the sweetest thing. But for some reason, I've just always loved Scotty dogs. And the West, West, um... I never can remember the full name of it. Westies, I know they're called, which to me just looks like a white Scotty dog. But I have always loved, uh, I just like their shape. I think they're adorable. And I had all kinds of um, things like that with like Scotty dog um, images on it. I had like pillows and socks and clothes and just even stuffed animal Scotty dogs. So I was always obsessed. And I still, to this day, just think Scotty dogs are adorable. Um, even though people who know me know I am a little bit over crazy, 
crazy cat person, <laughs> but overly crazy, crazy cat person, cat lady. Um, but I do like dogs a little bit. My daughter has a Lhasa Apso, um, Lily. She's the sweetest thing in the world, but my daughter has moved out into her own place and she hasn't got a chance to move Lily yet to her place, which she's allowed to have her because the landlord there is really chill and he's like, as long as you clean up messes, I don't care how many pets you have. Um, so she's got one of the cats there and she'll be taking Lily there pretty soon. And so she'll have those two. Um, so I do, I do like dogs. I think they're cute, but I just don't really want one of my own. Um, but anyways, this is what the embellishment looks like completed. I did put the Scotty dog on some little foam squares. I've actually been loving these squares. Let me see if I can find them uh, from Dollar Tree. These little tiny square ones. I was able to just flip the little doggy over and I just put like one, two, three, four, five. So basically either five or six. I don't remember if I put one in the middle, but, um, and they're just the right size. They're teeny tiny little squares and I love them. They, they pop off real easily and they give, they're not super thick, but they just add a nice little bit of dimension. And then on this bow here, I used another paper pad. Um, and it is from Hobby or not Hobby Lobby, Joann's. And the last time I was at Joann's just a few weeks back, they still carry this paper pad. It is die cuts with a view, solid golds, and it just has different textures and colors of gold paper, like this really bright glittery gold, which is like a, um, it's almost like there was a bunch of gold glitter that was just glued, like pressed in place on this um, sheet. It does not come off that I can tell, so it's pretty secure on there. And then it also, I think there's three of each. Um, it doesn't really say. 18 sheets. I believe there's about either three or four of each. Then there's, this one doesn't really look gold. It looks almost more like a, I don't know, like a, a taupe or something. But it's got a little bit of a holographic look to it, which is really cool. And it's very slick. And there's three of those. So there must be three of each one. And then this one, I've just got one piece of it left. This is what I use for the bows because it's textured, like embossed. And it's just a really pretty, sort of a goldish tan. And I like those little um, shapes that are embossed into the paper. And I thought it gave a nice little um, touch on the bow. You can barely see it, but it does have a nice little bit of um, texture. And then there's just the plain, like smooth glitter paper. And then it also had some shiny gold, which I've almost used all of that up. Love this paper pad, so I may end up going back and getting more of it because it's been a very useful paper pad. Um, and so that's pretty much all I did was just layer these three punches together, the two and a half inch scallop, um, a starburst punch from Stampin' Up, and then that is a two inch, um, just plain circle punch. I believe the scallop is about two and a quarter, maybe two and an eighth. Um, I measured it one time, but it's been a while and I don't remember exactly the measurement. Um, and then just added the Scotty Dog with some foam tape. And there's all kinds of really cute projects on Pinterest for using the Scotty Dog Punch. And I've been saving all kinds of them of ideas because I just love the um, punch and can't wait to do some more cards and projects with it. And then added this with just a dot, like one little tiny dot um, of art glitter glue. And then just for a little bit of sparkle, added one gold bling to the bow. And I decided not to add any more bling anywhere else. I could have put a little bit up here or I was thought about pulling out my flowers and I thought, no, I just want to keep it plain because if I decide to use them on like a card or a tag, um, I could maybe decorate a little bit more in the future. So I left them a little bit plainer so that I can add to later. And also by leaving them plainer, it will let me use them in a lot more different ways instead of having them, you know, like if I had put for you or happy birthday or something on there like that, then very, it limits how I can use them. 
um, or if I'm ever in a swap again and I need some embellishments, I could throw some of these in and then my partner can use them however they want to. So anyways, that is what I have made for this month's embellishments on the 11th collab. Um, please check out the description below the video and I'll have all the information listed um, in the description box. And I want to thank everyone for stopping by and I will see everyone in my next video. Have a great day.